Alrighty, it's your boy Zeuxis, and we're back with another Goddess of Victory Nikki video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about this whole Casino Bunny X777 um, event because not even just in my community, but it just seems like the general Nikki community is like 50 and 50 right now, right? It seems like a bunch of you guys are mad and a bunch of you guys are happy, right? And I'm on the side that's happy, so we're gonna talk about this completely because I'm. I'm trying to help you guys understand what's going on here. So basically, a lot of people are mad because one, they just promoted this rupee skin and it's a gotcha pawn essentially, right? So it's not 1000% confirmed to be free. We do know you do not have to spend actual real life money on this skin, right? But we do not know if it's completely free because it is a gotcha pawn. Now in the patch notes, it does say it's only 10 pulls to get this advanced recruit vouchers and also, um like material equipment upgrade materials right so either way i think even if you do have to spend currency is that really a problem like let's be realistic if it's only 10 pulls to get all these types of things is it really a problem because it's not like i'm spending currency to get this outfit i'm spending currency to get this outfit on top of advanced recruit vouchers and equipment materials right so i'm getting more than what you're like you know what i mean but even still i do still believe this will be completely free because again nikki has never really been the type to be that greedy right actually really they're rarely ever greedy to be honest um so i do think this outfit will be completely free um but we'll just wait to see exactly when the event actually comes out and all that stuff i'll make a full video on it when it actually does happen now another thing they're complaining about is the these two characters right here Noir and Blanc right basically how they're promoting it is that you need to summon for both of them for them to get like the full capabilities right now the reason why I like this is because like I always say Nikkei does a fantastic job at having players feel like they're a part of the game right i think they always do a great job for making us as players feel like we're a part of the game so right now this next event is a casino themed event they're dropping for the first time ever a gotcha pawn which are only in casinos and we have to do a casino type event to get the costume because it's a, ca a casino themed event right now when it comes to these two characters, this th summoning for two characters is not part of the casino, right? But the backstory with these two characters is that they're big. Think of these two characters as like legendary or mythical Pokemons. How about that, right? If we look at Nor, uh, not Nor, Blanc here, it says, it is said that any gambler who sees both twins in the coin rush will hit the jackpot. So basically the story behind these two characters is that they are too, they're rare. You're barely ever gonna see them both at the same time but if you do see them both at the time if you see both of them at the same time you will get lucky and you will hit the jackpot that's the whole point of this the lore essentially that's their lore mythical legendary pokemons basically you could say it's like that that's the whole thing right to bring good luck she will always force her sister to join her right so again very rare they're that's the lore they're rare you're never really gonna see them but if you do you will get very lucky it's a casino now, in terms of having to summon for both of them, that's not a part of the casino, but I'm not going to complain because this is the first time in the game where they're having a mechanic where the characters will be just better with having two. It's not saying, oh, Blanc is only going to work if you have Noir. Noir is only going to work if you have Blanc. No, you're just going to get something extra for having both of them on the team. That's how these work, right? If you read their patch notes, if I could pull it up, if we go and look at their patch notes, just based on the simple description they gave us, or they given us, uh, given us of what these two characters can do individually, they both seem pretty good, right? Blanc, she's a defender who gives her allies a shield, right? And then she can also restore HP and then also increase the squad survivability with the shield. And then whoever the weakest ally is will get the indomitability uh, uh, function effect that Makima has that alone is pretty good right we don't know but it says when battling a song alongside um noir blanc becomes stronger we don't know what they mean by this part we do know for a fact though you're going to need both of them on the team for synergy to get some type of effect like when we get the skills it will say when having noir on the team you will get this they, that's guaranteed because they've dropped multiple characters together right they've dropped coco and soda together it never once said for soda actually let me pull it up and see if it said anything 
here we go. This is soda and cocoa. Both of them are maids. You would think, right? They work with each other. It doesn't say anywhere here that if you summon for Coco or if you summon, it doesn't say anything here about them being together, you will, they'll become stronger. They've never once mentioned that before. They didn't even mention that for Power and Makima. So when they mentioned that for these characters, it makes sense because the whole point of the, like the whole lore about these characters, and you gotta re realize at this point, Nikki seems to be realistic. All the broken characters in the story are broken in the game. All the good characters in the story are good in the game. All the characters are just trash or trash of the game. It's as simple as that. But you got to remember, they're promoting it as that they need to be together at the same time. Now, does that mean you need to summon for both of them? No, you're still going to be very good off without having both of them. But it's saying if you do have both of them, they will most likely get another effect that will make them a bit better. Since this game is not, you know, maybe in PvP, I can understand why you guys are complaining, right? Because it's like, oh, if they have the two characters and I have one character, then da 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 da. But that doesn't make sense because at the same time, you have access to these to these uh, two characters, right? Now. I guess you could also say, oh, but why do I have to summon for two characters for me to get their full potential? Now, we don't know what this part means. We do know that they're going to get some type of effect from that when battling alongside each other, right? I was able to figure that out, not only myself, but many people were able to figure that out from this little line right here, where it says, when both of them are together, you get the jackpot. Everybody was able to, at least people with common sense who could put two and two together, were able to figure out that, boom, we moved, it was most likely going to be two characters and that you were going to need to have both to them to get a full-blown like another effect right like i mentioned it how they did it in this light and other games right i think somebody said they did it in a azure lane or whatever right they've multiple games do this but i don't think it's a problem because the whole theme is a casino so when it says oh rupee's outfit is going to be from the gotcha pawn i don't it doesn't make sense because if they sold this a lot of the free-to-play players who don't even cannot don't even spend on this game wouldn't complain if they had to buy it but when it's somewhat free to you guys you complain it i don't understand how it works when it's paid for you do not complain but when it's somewhat free most likely guaranteed going to be free you complain how does that make sense i don't get it right hey twenty dollars usd nah it's fine we're free to play we already knew that hey gotcha pun you have a chance of getting this free most likely it's going to get to be free because there's only temples for everything not only are you getting the skin you're getting advanced review uh recruit vouchers and equipment material ups whatever they're called and, and you're complaining it doesn't make sense to me right but i do like the fact that it is a, it is a gotcha pun i do like the fact that they're sticking to the lore when these two are together you get the best value i like how they're doing that in the game it's something new it's something fresh now you could comment oh you spend money so that's why you like it by all means but guess what i plan on doing i plan on summoning on blanc's banner right doing seven multis because i'm only i guess six multis i'm only six multis away from pity and then i plan on using my pity on noir so i do not have to summon for noir i can get both of them by summoning for just one of them it's as simple as that and i spend on the game that's what i plan on doing right for a lot of you guys you guys are all saying Oh, I'm saving for near. We don't even know when near is coming, right? We don't know when near is coming. We just know it's the second half. Now, I'm not saying summon for these characters. Forget about near. That's not what I'm trying to say. But I'm saying don't say, don't try to tell everyone else not to summon because near is limited and da 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 da. And I do think obviously near because it is limited, it is more valuable than these two. But don't try to ruin everybody else's fun because you don't like it, right? If you don't like it, then you just don't like it. If you like it, then you like it. I I like it i think it's cool a lot of other people like it they think it's cool because again it's a casino themed event there's a gotcha pun in a casino themed event who would have thought these two characters their whole lore is that when you see both of them together you get the best value so they're dropping two of them together and when they're on the same team you get the best value who would have thought right it's as simple as that bruh if you don't like it you don't like it if you like it you like it right definitely comment your opinion down in the comments because i'm so curious to see what now that i've made this video what people are actually going to say um 
Obviously, if you do not agree with me, don't go in the comment and say, Ozzy Oxus, you're a flamingo idiot. Da 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 da. Flamingo is a family friendly F word. <laughs> but don't, don't go ahead and, you know, just tell me your opinion and then I'll read it, right? And share it with other people too. If other people say they like it and why, don't go attack them. Don't do that because nobody cares what you're saying in terms of you hurting their feelings, right? Just share your opinion. We care about your opinion on this. We don't care about your insults to other people. We don't care about your insults towards me we don't care about none of that we only care about your opinion on this topic which is the casino type event and all that stuff so definitely share that in the comments down below and i'll see you guys in the next one make sure you guys subscribe like and uh join the discord if you want to have like a beef there y'all can go debate in the discord i allow that just don't be toxic um and yeah it's your boys the i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out peace